Hello everyone, Wolfie here, coming at you with another one. Now, in this one, this has actually been asked quite a bit, so we're going to be going over how to change your Epic Games email address or your Fortnite email address. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. How to change your Epic Games email address, also known as your Fortnite email address. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we are, and we have Epic Games already typed in. So we're gonna search Epic Games. So let's do that right now. And I'm on google.com, and we just searched Epic Games, and we've got the Epic Games website at the top of the page now. So epicgames.com is where we wanna head to. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now, once we click on that, we'll be on Epic Games' main page. So what we're going to do from here now is we're going to log into our account. Now, in order to do that, you're going to go to the upper right side of the screen to where it says sign in, and there's a little icon of a person there. So from here, let's click on that. And once we click on that, we'll be brought to another page. And this is where we're going to put in our sign in information. So you can put in your information in the boxes here, but if you're normally a console player and you don't have information stored for the website, you can go ahead and click the console that you're on and you can log in that way. See, once you click on the console that you're on, whether PlayStation, Xbox, or the Nintendo Switch, it'll take you to another window it'll actually open up a small window for the platform that you're on so if you click playstation for instance i'll go ahead and click it right now so you have an idea of what'll pop up so we clicked on playstation and we have a little login here from the playstation website so you can log in using your playstation information there and it's the same for the other ones for xbox you'll have an Xbox Live window that pops up. And then for the Switch, you'll have a Nintendo window that pops up. So once you log in, you put in your info here, it'll take you to the next page. If you log in using a console, it'll do the same thing. You won't have to fill out any of this. You'll automatically be taken to the same page that you would be taken to if you logged in filling out the information here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll get back to you in just a second here, and I'll show you the next step. And we've been brought back to this page here. So you can look on the upper right, and that'll let you know that you're signed in, because you should see your username up there. See, mine is over here in the upper right corner. And you're going to go and hover over that, and we're going to go down now to Account, and that's what you're going to want to click on next. So go ahead and click on Account. And then once you click on that, you'll be brought to this page right here. So what do we do from here? This is where we're going to change our email address. Now, in order to do that, you want to go down a couple of boxes. We're going to go down one, and then we're going to go down one again. So now what we'll be looking at is the tab called Contact and Address Information. And right under that, you should see a box which says Email Address on the left side. So you can see that mine is over here. So we're going to click on that email address box. And when you click on it, they'll give you a little notification letting you know that you can only change your name once every 90 days. So make sure the email address that you're changing it to, you're sure you want it to be that email address because if you change your mind after doing it, you're going to have to wait 90 days in order to change it again. So be sure about what it is that you want to change it to. So now that we've put in the email address, what we're going to do now is we're going to hit confirm. And once you hit that, it'll take you to another page. And that page will say that a verification code has been sent to your current email address. Like it says here on my screen, a security code has been sent to your email address and so and so. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to our email and we're going to search for that email. We're going to take that verification code and then we're going to put it in the box here. And once we put it in the box here, we're going to hit continue. 
Now, if you don't see that verification code in your email, there is an option down here to resend it. So all you need to do is click on that and it'll resend the verification to your email. And once it does that, then you can go ahead and hit continue. Now, once you've done that, always be sure to hit save changes, which is at the bottom of the screen once you're finished. I always make sure to do that whenever I change something so that you're 100% sure that things are good. And from there, you're pretty much good to go with your new email address. So that's going to be it for this one. If this video helped you out, I'd appreciate it so much if you can leave a like and subscribe. I'm Wolfie, and I'll see you next time. Bye.